Hey there, travel enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have something truly special for you, a unique glimpse into the heart of the Dominican Republic's culture and village life. We recently had the incredible opportunity to visit Maria's house in the village, courtesy of the Bavaro Runners Excursion. Trust me, this experience was nothing short of amazing, and we can't wait to take you along on this journey. Let's dive right in. As we entered Maria's house, we were immediately enveloped in a warm and inviting atmosphere. The vibrant colors of the house itself set the tone for the cheerful experience that awaited us. Maria graciously invited us in to get a glimpse of what a typical house in the village of the Dominican Republic looks like. Maria's house is a reflection of the Dominican hospitality, bright, lively, and full of character. The aroma of coffee and cocoa beans being roasted in the countryside added an extra layer to the immersive experience. Hola. There's a rooster. Right here. Next, we strolled through Maria's vegetable garden, where we had the opportunity to see diversity of plants and fruit trees that thrive in the Dominican Republic. From banana trees to pineapple trees, papaya trees to coconut trees. It was a sensory delight. The air was filled with the scent of various fresh plants creating a truly immersive experience. We used here at this place for we made the different organic products. Organic coffee, organic chocolate, we made here. And let me show you the cocoa. I told you that the cocoa have a different color. They are green, red, yellow. When the cocoa is yellow, it's ready to pick up. The cocoa look like a ball of football America. A little small, a big. One of the memorable moments during our visit was observing the production of fresh organic coffee and chocolate in the countryside village. Our guide took us through the entire process, from the initial bean stages to the final cup. The most delightful aspect? Not only did we witness the production, but we also had the pleasure of savoring these exquisite treats. Nyangs, the nyangs is a kind of root with the guacamole. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, love the guacamole. It's very, very good, right? This is the cocoa bean when it's dry. We Maria se va, toda la Maria son dulce. Por ahí Maria se va, dulce como el caramelo. Por ahí Maria se va, y por amigo es dulce. Por ahí Maria se va, por una Maria me muero. Por ahí Maria se va, mucha chiao. Por ahí Maria se va, tiene que ser mi esposa. Por ahí Maria se va, mi hermano mi cuñado. Por ahí Maria se va. All the things that go outside and the chill. 
Yeah. 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 Chocolate, organic chocolate. It's good. You like chocolate? Got it one bean. If you like it, it's a little hot. Got it. Got it. Kind of got it. Something important, Amelia. When the kitchen, yeah, we put here another. We put here and now. Who want to help me to do the coffee? You are coming. Got here. And be in this side. This side. Get the hard to do the coffee, eh? It's a hard. Thank you. Thank you, coffee. Thank you. Very much. Gracias. Yeah. And now, could you smell the coffee? Your coffee that you have so good too. You can smell. Mm. Yeah. Don't have sugar, don't have nothing. But this organic chocolate, yeah? Chocolate. Yeah? If we want to eat a Dominican nest quick, we're going to make a Dominican nest quick. Over here, my friend, you cannot do that. Help me to, to make a Dominican nest quick. You got a, a little brown sugar. That's the organic sugar, the sugar that we use. And cinnamon. Cinnamon brown. And we put here with sugar, cinnamon. Right? All right. We have it here, cocoa butter. Smell it. Smell the cocoa butter. That we got it, the cocoa, and we boil it. We got it, the oil, and that's the cocoa butter. That's it's all good. Yeah. Cocoa butter. Smell. Organic. Natural cocoa butter. That we use for the seed. Yeah? <laughs> And the control quality. Another. Yeah. And the control quality. <laughs> Put your hand, familia, and he's gonna Thank deposit you. some beam. After the fascinating tour, we gathered on a cozy bench to taste some of the organic products. From refreshing tea to rich coffee, we had the chance to purchase a variety of goodies: organic honey, coffee beans, coconut oil and an array of organic spices. The flavors were authentic and truly a representation of the Dominican Republic's rich agricultural heritage. Additionally, we seized the opportunity to explore the village's rural charm, encountering countryside animals like roosters and chickens. Our toddler had a great time enjoying this unique aspect of the experience. Any product, yeah? You cannot get it without a problem. You cannot get it. And of course, what's a Dominican experience without savoring some delicious local cuisine? Maria and the locals treated us to a mouth-watering lunch. We enjoyed a hearty meal featuring rice with beans, pasta, fried chicken, and plantains. The food was not only delicious, but also a perfect way to conclude our day in Maria's village. It's okay. It's okay. It's part of it.
And there you have it, folks, our unforgettable journey through Maria's house in the village of the Dominican Republic. A big shout out to Bavaro Runner's Excursion for making this experience possible. We even had the chance to enjoy the beautiful sound of relaxing rain. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more travel adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and embracing the beauty of different cultures. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey.